The eruption which started around six days ago in the Swartzengi volcanic system of the Reykjanes Peninsula of Iceland has continued up to now. It started like this and uh, it actually crossed the older fissure that created the K1 volcano. K1 volcano took over uh, at an uh, early stage and at the moment is the only active one. Uh, we had a nor uh, northernmost uh, crater, I call it Norvan. Norvan has now ceased activity. And the only one is the K1, which is erupting at the moment. Although it has also less vigor in that sense. Uh, these are the two images, uh, the lower one, 2 a.m., and the top one, one hour after that, as you can see. Uh, no one is not erupting, only K1 is erupting with less vigor. Part of it can be due to the real difference in the magma eruption. Part of it can be due to the light uh, affecting the amount of the uh, magma we are seeing visible. Uh, the GPS data shows that the depletion of the uh, reservoir continues. Although Icelandic Meteorological Office says no, it is actually accumulating magma under that system. But the trend I'm seeing on all these uh, GPS data stations shows opposite to that. So I have to see their evidence to actually, uh, you know, what is their base for that model that they are using. Risk assessments is almost stays the same. Zoom 7 is added now to a risk level of yellow. And the uh, blue uh, part is actually the most risky part. Blue Lagoon is on the orange part, which is less risky, but there is considerable risk still. This is the summary of the update from the in Icelandic Meteorological Office. I will keep you updated as the developments goes. Personally, I believe the eruption will, uh, will be finished in one or two days. We will not see the weekend. We are seeing a lot of outgassing, and that's the process of actually finishing the eruption in the previous cases that we have seen in this area. I will keep you updated on that.